Should have plenty of batteries for this. Oh! Watch out! Ow! Get off me, you little... He is big. Let's load up a torpedo. Shoot him. Oh! Whoa! Here he comes! Oh! Got him! <laughs> Woo! I don't think he's happy about that. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Subnautica. We're picking up just about where we left off after the last episode, which was recorded in 2017. It is now 2018, so Happy New Year. <laughs> it's the 2nd, January 2nd, and the last time I recorded this or played this game was last, uh, last week. And we're right here in the Prawn Bay, getting some prawn. This will be the last fragment. Yes! Four fragments of prawn. We got the blueprint. Yeah. There it is. Yes, prawn suit. Epic epic exosuit designed for navigating alien environments on foot. But man, does it require some stuff. Lots of expensive stuff, but I think we can I think we have all that back at base. But we still have a bit more to do here. Uh, we got the living quarters we have not explored yet. And there was a uh, some kind of a uh, dive bay or something. What is that? That's more prawn. Yeah, I've got enough prawn for one day. Um, and there's a dive bay back in the beginning when we first got on the Aurora. Ah, I'm stuck. But uh, yeah, we'll get there on the way out. Let's continue here. We've got the living quarters. So this is where all the people lived. Got a canteen here. And a supply closet with... Nutrient blocks. Oh, water, food. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good timing. Let us eat and drink and make merry. And we'll make some space here in the inventory. Holy smokes. We're, we are full. Yeah, these nutrient blocks give a lot of food. Um, but I don't think I want to carry all of them. We don't really have much space left. We have so many batteries. You know what? Let's drop this stuff. Titanium and sulfur. We can get that later. That's e fairly easy to come by. And these nutrient blocks could be great for long trips, right? Just throw them on the old uh, sea moth on Bumblebee. And away you go. So we'll carry them for now until we run out of space. Oh, look at that poster! Oh, get the scanner out. So the scanner actually does show a little icon down in the bottom right-hand corner when something needs to be scanned. Or when something can be scanned. You don't have to have the scanner in your hand for that icon to show up. But you do have to pay attention <laughs> for that little scan symbol, which sometimes I don't see. And I'm sure that drives people crazy. But we're all good. We're all good here. I see this one. See, there it is. There it is. It just showed up. Look at that. Yeah, it's got some serious range. Single wall shelf. Ooh, we can make a cantina back at base. I really cannot wait to get back to base with all these new blueprints. A counter! Oh yeah. We can even make like a coffee bar, right? Because we have a coffee machine blueprint now too. So now we have a counter and a shelf and yeah, coffee vending machine that we found on the way here. Sweet, can't wait to get some coffee. Anything else to scan? We already have the vending machine. Let's jump the bar. Ooh, looks like somebody had a party back here. Fire extinguisher's good. There's a PDA here. Today's menu. What's on the menu? That's just flavor text. Get it? Menu, flavor text. Ba -dum -bum -tsh. Go ahead and read that. I'm not. And we have a kitty cat. Look at him. He's adorable. Oh, he doesn't purr. But we're taking it. Taking it. We'll put that back in our cantina. Coffee bar. Here's the, uh, the menu. Baked potatoes, mac and cheese. Ooh, chicken and pork. Oh, yeah, all the staples. All the staples. Anything to scan in here? I don't think so. And the scanner has super range. It's pretty awesome. Excuse me. All right, let's get out of here and try not to get burned. It looks like we have everything here. That's my fire extinguisher, right? That it just dropped. Yeah. All right, storage room. Let's keep going. These doors are locked, and I don't think we can get in those rooms. No, I think those are just there for show. Oh, boy. All right, we got two ways to go. We got... Cabin one here. Oh, this see right here. This is what you need. You need a code to get in these Unfortunately, oh so We can scan something here. We don't have a code single bed. Ooh, that's perfect for us because we're all alone here <laughs> Won't be sharing any beds with anybody and a bench to sit on Yeah, when we get back to base, we're gonna make an awesome 
bedroom and maybe like a little lounge to hang out in. Yeah, I got plenty of water. Yeah, I do. Let's drink one. Keep making space. And what is this? A carry all. It's like a bag, a satchel of some type. You can pick it up. That's cool. And hold on a sec. You can. What do you do with it? Oh, you can put it down. You can open it. You can put stuff in it. Holy smokes. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, good. Then let's carry it. Oh, you can't carry it with the stuff in it? Well, that's kind of dumb. That's not very useful then, is it? <laughs> it seems kind of useless then. What is the point of having this bag if you can't fill it first and bring it with you? Well, I guess I'll bring one and we can just decorate with it, but it seems kind of useless. There's another one over here. Yeah, I mean, it's got nine spaces inside, but it seems kind of pointless. I guess you just use them for storage in your base. Unless I'm missing something, that seems um, completely pointless to me and useless. Captain's quarters! Ooh! But it's locked, so it looks like we're going to have to find a PDA around here. I'm sure the captain has something important. Well, we got to find a way into the captain's quarters. So let's keep looking for... PDA around here somewhere. Maybe down this way. Check the non burning room first. Looking for a way into the captain's quarters. What is this? Oh, another uh, poster. Prawn suit poster. <laughs> More prawn. <laughs> it's sea. We have sea and land now. Well, that's cool. I didn't know they made different posters of the prawn. Relationship, contract, legal, recording. Ooh, we can listen to that one. Oh. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? Alright, you know what? That doesn't seem like it's anything revealing. Uh, I'm not gonna listen to that right now. Let's get into cabin seven. And find some goodies. Watch out for that fire. I really want to get into that captain's room. I have a feeling there's going to be something important in there. We don't need a bat. Oh, here we go. Transgov profile. Integration oh, Corp. Uh, that doesn't look like a code in here. What's this code? Oh, high security terminal. Captain's... Did we find this the last episode? Okay. I don't know when I got this. 2679, but we have the code. We must have picked that up in the last episode, or between the last episode and where I am right now, because I'm, I'm not sure if I have all the footage um, to share with you guys. I think I might have deleted some. I don't know. I'll find out when I put all this together. Got a little crate here with some Wawa, which we don't need. Let's just finish up these rooms. First aid kit we don't need. Uh, look for posters, because there's posters around. What is this? Natural Selection 2 poster? Oh, Natural Selection 2. That was a mod for a game, and I forget which game it was. Natural Selection, the original anyway, was a mod. And then Natural Selection 2 was a standalone release by the same people that made the mod. And my guess is it must be the, the people behind Subnautica. Maybe they made Natural Selection 2. I don't know. That's cool, though. We got a poster. Another carry-all. I guess we might as well open it just to see if there's anything in there, but I don't think so. Uh, what can we drop and carry this? I want one more of these carry-alls. I'm going to recharge some batteries and drop the uh, mostly spent ones so I can carry some more items. And I'm thinking about, let's drop the sea glide. We don't really need it here, do we? I'm going to grab another carry-all. I have a feeling I'm missing the potential of this carry-all somehow. And uh, I'm going to learn that when we leave, and then I'm going to wish I grabbed them all. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the captain's quarters, which is over here by the electricity. Still don't have a code for Captain 1, though. Watch it. All right, what was it? 2679, right? 2679. There it is. Unlock. Captain? Hello, Captain. Ooh. Oh, we can scan stuff here. Look at that. What is that? It's a little miniature Aurora. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Pick it up. 
Where is it? Yeah, it's a little model. Oh, I love it. It's fantastic. I can't wait to get back. We got some wall shells here. That's nice. Wall shells. And a data terminal. Altera HQ last recorded transmissions. And a Neptune. Neptune escape rocket? <gasps> Ooh. Is that how we get out of here? Neptune escape rocket. Oh, wow. All right. Single bed bench. Let's go find that. That rocket, if it's in here. Neptune launch platform. Lead, titanium ingots, and computer chips. Easy to make. So my guess is that is going to be used to make the rocket. And that's how we get off of this planet. That's just a guess. A wild guess. Oh, wait. Here's the captain's log. And a double bed. Oh, yeah. So in case we get visited by anybody, we now have space for two. Acquired. Captain's log, star date. Classified. Really, Captain? Can I unlock it somehow? It's classified. There's got to be a way in there. There's an Aurora poster that we can't take, unfortunately. Anything else to scan? This is some good stuff in the captain's quarters. All right. I don't know what we can do about that. It doesn't look like we can press any buttons or do anything with it other than stab it to no effect. All right, I guess I guess we're done here. Um, I'm still curious about cabin one. But I don't have a code for cabin one. Let's try captain's code. Two, six, seven, nine. Since he's the boss. No. All right, well, let's check the codes. You'd think the captain's code would work everywhere, right? Apparently not. Codes. Open it back up. Cargo Bay, 1454. No, we're going to have to find another uh, PDA around here somewhere. What is this? A land poster. We already have the land poster, right? Yeah, prawn suit poster, land and sea, kitty cat, and natural selection. That's awesome. Got to do some decorating when we get back. Let's just keep our eyes open for... Another PDA. Yeah, we've been over there, right? We've been in here. Alright, I guess we'll head back and get down to the dive bay. Maybe that cabin one um, code will pop up at some point, but I don't know if I'm going to come back all the way back here. Probably doesn't make sense. Let's just go ahead and eat and drink. Oh, wow, we really fill up with those things, don't you? It's like Elvish Way Bread. One small bite can fill up a grown man. <laughs> I think we're ready. Back in the prawn bay. Let's get out of here. We're going to head back to where we came in originally. And go down to the dive bay. I think that's what it was called. And again, I don't know if I'm going to have the footage for all of this. I, I did search all this already. But I did that in the last play session last week. And I just don't remember if I have that footage. It didn't make it into the last episode because I had to cut it um, to make it, you know, not so the video wouldn't be super long. Oh! But I, I definitely did all this already. Even if you didn't see it. Trust me, I did. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the beginning and uh, we'll, we'll finish this up and get out of here and get back home. And I'll keep my, my eyes open for more things to scan. Yeah, see, I did all this already. This is where the little wormies attacked. I think this is where I had ended the last episode right there, cutting through, right? All right, hang tight. Be right back. Don't go away. Found it, and it's not called the dive room. It's the drive room. Of course, because this ship is leaking. Oh, gosh. It's one of them slimy little worms. Come here, you little stinker. Boom! Get wrecked. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Right. Well, that's me. Uh, I am a professional, after all. Don't worry about it. I got this. <laughs> that thing's still alive. Holy cow! He's tougher than he looks. Come over here. No, I think he's dead. All right. So we got to get to the drive room, and we got to shut this thing down. Oh, easy does it. Easy does it. I don't want to use my fire extinguisher. Down to my last one. Ugh. And this will keep the worms from following us, right? Holy smokes, look at this place. Yeah, this is where the radiation is leaking from. 
and it is causing the indigenous species all kinds of headaches. Oh, hold up. Local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Okay, thanks, Abby. Yeah, we can scan this breachy thing. Drive core shielding. Yes, yeah, see? They're busted. Pick up Cyclops engine efficiency module. Oh, sweet! Cyclops, we've got to make that Cyclops. All right, so we have to, uh... we got to repair? Oh! Hold up. Can we repair that right there? Where's my repair tool? Let's put that in number four. Sure. Oh, yeah, we can! Aha! Uh -huh. So this is what we need all the batteries for. Probably. Sweet! Ten? Holy cow! This is going to take forever. <laughs> it's going to use up a lot of batteries. That's why there's so many batteries here for us. We've got to do all ten. I might have to go back for some more batteries. I left some behind. Um, right. Well, this is going to be a little bit of a, uh, an egg hunt. And we're going to have to jump in the water. And there's those slimy little stinking worms down there. Dang it. I had a feeling. All right. Well, there's a breach right there. We're going to have to jump down and grab that one, too. How do we get off this platform? All right. Do we have a charge in here? Yeah, let's get rid of the, uh, the threats first. I'm here to help. I really am. I'm fixing these, uh, these container things. I'm trying to get rid of the radiation. Leave me alone. I don't think they want to reason. I don't think they're going to reason. Let's fix that up. Oh, I hear a splash. Hurry up. Hurry up. Fix it. All right. Eight more to go. Let's look around for worms before we start repairing. They sneak up on you when you least expect it. The little stinkers. There's one down there. There's one down there. Oh, here he comes. Grab him and squish him. All right. Now, I saw something to scan down here. Where is it? Maybe it was that little worm. <laughs> Holy cow, look at them all! Man, there's a whole flock of them over here. They don't seem very interested in us, though, do they? No, it's not like they chase us around, so maybe we can just avoid them and just do the job that we came here to do, and that's repair the rest of these leaks. All right, let's get it done. Here's one. Just keep an eye out, because there's a bunch of them. All right, looking, looking for sparks. There's some sparks down here. Oh yeah, see the scanner wants me to scan the worm, which I may do, just to learn about him and maybe figure out some of his little weaknesses. <laughs> That's five. There's another one there. I don't know why I keep going up for air. I do have a an oxygen tank on my back. <laughs> Just follow the sparks. There's plenty of them. All right, repair tools down to 20%. We should have plenty of batteries for this. Oh, watch out! Ow! Get off me, you little... 41% left in our propulsion cannon. Switch back to the repair tool. Two left to go. Where are all those wormies at? They're sneaky little stinkers. All right, looks clear. Oh, I see a bunch over there in the corner. And this is the last one. Hopefully we can do it with 8%. Done! Woohoo! Drive core breach sealed. Right. Now what? Thank you. Let's get out of here. Up the ladder. I'm gonna replace battery. Drop the spent. You know what we didn't find yet? The battery charger. Fire extinguisher. You think there's a battery charger blueprint around here somewhere? I bet there is. That would be super handy, you know what I mean? Alright, I guess we're done here. Let's go. Let's beat a hasty retreat. All right, guys, I'm back in the cabins because I wanted to come back and get my um, my sea glide. I do have space for it now. And I noticed there's a little bit of a haze here. I thought maybe it was a smoke, smoke effect of some type, but it's not. It's actually a graphic 
change that they made in the eye candy update and I think I can disable that because I really don't like the look of it. It looks too foggy, right? Ooh, I keep doing that. I want to bring up my options. Let's go back here to graphics. And I notice that uh, bloom is on. That's going to have an effect on it as well as depth of field. I don't mind the bloom so much, but the depth of field looks like it makes it foggy, right? That looks a little better. It's a little clearer now. Yeah, I wish I had noticed that before. But anyway, let me know if you like it like this or if you like it with the uh, with that foggy effect um, or even Bloom. I'm not a big fan of, um, of Bloom so much and especially not Motion Blur. I shut that off a long time ago. Uh, I think, at least I think I did. So, anywho, yeah, I came back here for the Sea Glide and now we're ready to go. We averted disaster by fixing up the... Um, the radioactive leaks, right? Radiation leaks, so we're, we're good there. We do have another uh, location in here somewhere. I think it's a laboratory, and I think we can get it to it from down in here in this big mess, but we're not going to deal with that right now. I'm going to go. I'm going to get out of here. We're going to go back home. I'm going to bring all these awesome uh, blueprints back to base, and I'm going to work on the base a little bit off camera. And then uh, we'll come back here another time. But we're done here for the time being. I've got too much in my inventory. And I want to bring this stuff back. And how the heck did I get in here? Oh, nope, not that way. All right, we're back. Propulsion cannon fragment. We, I still didn't find that repulsion cannon that they were talking about, right? That is a uh, that is a thing in this game, but you gotta find the blueprints for it. Repulsion cannon. Uh, I don't know where it is. Again, we'll we'll go back and get organized, and then regroup and come back and finish this up another time. I think for now we're just gonna go. Yeah, I already have that. Yeah, let's get out of here. So the disaster was averted. We can leave now. The place isn't gonna explode or cause any more harm, I think. Um, so our work is done here for at least the time being. We'll come back and search around later. Where is my, uh, where's, where's my little bumblebee? I'm thinking I could just jump off this thing, right? Yeah, there's bumblebee. Whee! Splash! All right, we're back to bumblebee. Yeah, let's get home. Aboard, Captain. Oh, thanks, Abby. It's good to be back. It's good to see you. We're ready to go home now. I'm just going to put on autopilot, okay? Can you just get us home? Thank you. Holy cow! What is that thing? Oh, wait a minute, Abby. Give me back control. What is that monstrosity? Where did he come from? Is that an alien or a fish? Or an alien fish? Wow. Oh, he's ugly. He doesn't look very nice either. I have a feeling that's an um, an alien. One of the guardians put here. To guard the ship or something. He is big. Let's load up a torpedo. Shoot him. Oh, wow. Here he comes. Oh. Got him! <laughs> Woo! I don't think he's happy about that. All right, go faster. I'm holding down shift for turbo, and it's not doing anything. I can't go faster. <laughs> There's no sprint in this game? Okay, hide then. Let's hide. There is hiding in this game. Oh, I don't think he liked that torpedo. I'm not even sure it actually did anything to him. It's probably too big for that vortex to suck him in. At least for very long. All right, let's let's go home now. Where's home? <laughs> it's time to go home. Can we sneak out the back, Jack? Make a new plan, Stan. All right, we're going to sneak right out over here. I think. That was exciting. He's really cool, but uh I don't Wow! Please make your acquaintance. We mean you no harm. We fixed the breach. <gasps> it's all good here. Everything's fine. Have a nice day. 
Go faster, little bumblebee. You're so slow. Wow. That thing was enormous and frightening. <sighs> All right. I'll meet you guys back at base in the next episode, and uh, we'll make up a really cool bedroom with all these new scans, and then we'll figure out what to do next. Uh, don't even bother looking, because inventory's full. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.